It's the quintessential California postcard. A dramatic windswept collision of land and sea can be summed up in two words, Big Sur. For six hours each year, cars are turned away from this section of the Pacific Coast Highway as 3,000 of my best friends take a run on the ragged edge of the Western world. The Big Sur Marathon can be as brutal as it is breathtaking. I run it every year since it launched nearly a quarter of a century ago. I run marathons around the world, but my home course is still my favorite. And today, I want to share it with you. We're now at the start area for the Big Sur Marathon. This is Pfeiffer Park. So the runners get offloaded, you typically have Oh, an hour to uh, as much as an hour and a half before the marathon starts. Also, it's an area where the sweat vehicles are, so you can take off your sweats. I really strongly recommend that you wear sweats because it's typically about 40 degrees in the morning at the start. It can be quite chilly. One other thing you'll notice is that this is a pretty substantial hill, and you're going to start out this race on a downhill. You're excited, you want to get going, so there's a lot of enthusiasm. And so one thing that's very difficult to do is to actually maintain your pace and be careful. A lot of people go out too quickly on this marathon. You will thank me if you pace yourself to the halfway point. The first three miles, the runners are on both sides of the road here. And of course, from the beginning, we're all bunched up together. And so there's a lot of chatter and excited talk that goes along here. But it's just beautiful along here uh, through the redwoods. So we drop at this point uh, something around uh, 200 feet, 250 feet, and uh, the next sort of landmark we'll come to will be uh, the River Inn. And the River Inn is a very popular area. Uh, there is a river that runs behind this restaurant, and uh, there's quite often bands and performers in that area, and it's uh, very popular with the locals. The River Inn is at mile two and a half. You'll have another two and a half miles of woods before it opens up at Malera. And uh, we're just now getting ready to uh, depart the Redwoods. This is one of the last groves that we go through on the course. Now we're coming out of Malera. So this is where we open up out of the Redwoods. And this is uh, when we determine whether we're gonna have a lot of wind or not. So Malera is at mile five. From here, you've got a couple more miles until the road turns north and heads up the coast. As we come out of this turn here, we're gonna see this uh, two mile straight stretch. There it is. So from back behind me here, that's roughly mile six. And we have now a two mile stretch that's absolutely straight. This is a steady climb of a couple of percent, so it's not a very steep grade. You're slightly leaning forward into, into the run, and this is where I think most of the runners have some of their fastest miles on the course. And so from here also, we look up along the backside of the mountain and we see Pico Blanco up above and uh, the green hillsides along here. So it's just a beautiful view as we head up along. So there's usually um, cattle that are out in the field over here, and I guess you could call them spectators. Uh, but that's about it. On years when we have a lot of wind, it turns out that this highway is aimed directly into the wind. So you're running right into the teeth of the wind. At the end of the straightaway, you're rewarded with one of my favorite views on the course. So this is the Point Sur Lighthouse, and it's one of the best known landmarks along the California coast and certainly one of the ones that the runners uh, really see a lot of and enjoy. And uh, because of the sun coming out of the east, the early morning, the color is quite often a brilliant green. So now we're at mile eight on the course, so we have the Point Sur Lighthouse off to our left side. And one thing that uh, we become aware of is that we're just about to get some of our first views of Hurricane Point. So this is when there is a sort of palpable nervousness that starts uh, through the runners because they know that uh, pretty soon here they're going to begin the longest climb on the marathon course. Next, we continue our tour where we take on Hurricane Point and head on to the breathtaking beaches of Gerpada. 